you see, yeah. we, we've, we've got two, two sets of issues, the yeah. social issues, the mm. personal issues, and the functional issues. Right. And what you're describing is that the CMIO ain't helping on the social personal side. I think all of us have agreed on that. Yeah, I think we, yeah. But that was never its purpose. Yeah. That was never its purpose. So whatever we want to do on the social and functional side, we have to either rise above or ignore CMI. My question is, on the functional side, on the policy side, if we look, so let's say we, we worry about the downsides of CMIO because of its social and personal sides. So we want to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. What is the alternative that we're going to put on the functional side? On the policy side, uh, because we've talked about the benefits of on mm -hmm. the policy side of yeah. CMIO, right? We, there are some benefits we can argue about whether that may be so or not. We've talked about the uh, social negatives of keeping it. We've talked about the social positives of getting rid of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I want to. What's what about the policy problems of getting rid of it? Uh, how would we deal with those, or, or to what extent would those be a problem? So that's what that's what I'm that's what I'm kind of okay. trying to come around to. Mm. Any, you know, because you talked about, for example, in places where uh, they didn't have this, and all the whole town looked the same, right? What would we what would we do about that if we if we got rid of it? So on the policy side, what would we do? You look like you're about to jump in. No. <laughs> um, no, no, yeah. And then I started, and then I started, and then I started talking. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm just thinking about the uh, CMI mo or CMI IO model. Currently, what is it actually being used for at a functional side? For, mm. So for me, I can come up with two. One is really to um, uh, assist and to be that the uh, that the uh, main thing to integrate the society. So we have CMI as kind of criteria, which uh, will help in a certain ways to integrate the various races. The other way is to really to, um, to assist the less or the more disadvantaged uh, segments of the society. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know whether I, I might, am I correct, but that's the true function. Yeah. So if we take away this thing, then you're asking the question, what can be in place? Well, what's our suggestion yeah. for an alternative? I mean, I mean for, 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 for me, because um, the reason for having that model is because on a personal level, all of us will definitely identify with certain certain aspects, you know, whether it's a culture, whether it's an entity. So that model is just an expression of you know, every individual's um, biasness uh, that we identify with certain things. Therefore, that model, model is there um, and it's being used in a functional level. So let's say if I take away this, this model, I can only think of um, using your know, income level of the households as as a means to you know, say help a certain disadvantaged uh, part of you know, segment of the society, but I cannot help in the integration of society. Now, how do we actually integrate people together if we don't have a CMI model? Because people tend to identify with similarities. Mm. I mean, this is our intrinsic nature of human beings. Unless we totally change our DNA, or we, we, or, or we have a much more common and stronger um, Singapore identity, but I don't see that happening as of now. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, we are, we are trying. We are trying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, we are trying, but uh, I, I, it, okay, it's just like we comparing ourselves with other, you know, in other nations like Japan, Japan, or, for example. It's because they have a homogeneous society. That's why they have this very, very, um, very um, strong national identity because it's, it, it's definitely uh, conditioned with their ethnicity and cultural identity. But Singapore, we are, a melting pot after all. We are a very diverse nation. I, at this point in time, I don't see all of us having this common identity that we can identify with. So the next best option is our own culture and the city identity. So if we don't have this CMIMO model um, in place, then what can we use to integrate the society? And I, and I, 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 I can't find any solutions. I find it a really interesting question yeah. the way you phrase that, because I, I think we, we have, we're struggling with the same question. Correct. Well, we've, we've really passed in different ways. So you, you seem to be saying, without, seeing, without dividing people, we can't, yes. we can't put, bring them together. And I'm saying, why divide them in the first place? You no, know, he's saying yeah. that they would divide themselves. You're saying that? Yes, correct. Yeah. So in the absence of, uh, of intervention, yeah. people will naturally divide themselves. Yeah. Mm. And this is a very, very common basic uh, human instinct. It's not just human instinct, even animals. Also. <laughs> so this, uh, nature, as, this, yeah. this, this is nature. Yeah. Uh, we need to find similarities yeah. so as to feel comfortable with, so that we can do certain things together, yeah. so that you know, we have this emotional, mental belonging. Mm. 
and I think that all of us are. So, my question to yeah. you, man, maybe what was the right. problem? Yeah. Yeah. Problem yeah. So, that? if we took away CMI, would would people find other ways to find similarities? I think. Okay. Um, to me, it's a question of zero sum game and uh, we win situation. Okay. So. It is perfectly okay if we belong, uh, we go and search out for our similarities, you know, clamp together. It is okay if we form our own towns of Chinese and Malays and Hong Kong and Indian so on. But it is not okay if we start to see each other in zero-sum games. That means that my town needs to be a more beautiful town than, other, other, you know, than, than towns of other you know, ethnicity. My town needs to be the more, you know, more infrastructure needs to be given to us because we are a Chinese town. So if we, if we start to compete, and this is all another human nature because survival of the fittest is, is that. So if we start to see ourselves in zero sum game, then it will, that will be a problem. And he has created a problem for us before. And let's not forget, last time racial riots um, occurred it was simply because. <laughs> yes, I have to bring back history. We can't have a discussion in Singapore without, without right. the. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm going to let you finish, but sure. I, I'm just going to point out whenever we talk about race, there's always the. <laughs> Don't be careful because we might have another round. Yeah. I'm sorry, please continue. No problem. Yeah. Uh, that, 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 that is just my take. Even not just ratio, even if we divide ourselves with other, uh, other measures, that problems often come up and we ought to be uh, careful about, you know, about letting yeah. people make the choice themselves. Okay, I think we, we probably need to sort of slowly wrap up. But <laughs> oh, we'll just go. No, go on. Why don't we just, uh, you just have your final pictures. I, I think that CMIO is, is so integral to the society that it's very difficult to answer the question about what could possibly replace it altogether. I think it's, it's a part by part thing and it will take a lot of time. I think the ramifications of completely abolishing it are, are, are terrible. You know, you could go on, on say even the social economic ladder and see that, you know, um, social mobility will be affected because you'll have as, as people group together, majorities bullying minorities. It will happen naturally. Um, and then I think overall, the, I, I still feel the answer is to add, is to try to add something on top of it as we slowly grow together as a nation. So that's the short answer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel that as, um, the more I search for the answer, the more I couldn't find it because this is really not a very simple topic to talk about. All of us actually would definitely have some views. I mean, on reason, let alone see my model. So, so I think the if, if you ask me, I think the conversation needs to be enlarged to much more larger segment of society in order to find exactly how all of us are thinking about see my model. So, to, to me, to me, I I wouldn't say I'll keep or not keep it, but yeah. So I I I I, I think we are still there's still the need for us to search for the answer. So yeah. Brilliant. It's been great to hear people talk about uh, the advantages of the model because I quite obviously see very few, <laughs> but to hear people talk about why they want it or why they feel that, that the, the society is under threat of it is removed, and then that's very, very useful for me. I still feel that we can find better ways to uh, categorize people demographically. Yeah. If we want to help people, let's help them where they're hurting and not because of their, their, their race. Yeah. If, if we want to interview people, let's, let's find more common grounds. I feel like we, yeah. we can do better. It may have worked once upon a time, but we as a society, we've never been afraid of hard work. We've never been afraid of, of taking the challenge on the nose. So let's find a better way than CMIO. Okay, for me, I think uh, I still, still see the functional utility mm -hmm. of the uh, CIMO, CIMO and, and uh, struggling hard to find other solutions that can replace what he has, what he has grown to, to fulfill. Right? However, I think uh, clearly it's a blunt a uh, way of categorizing people. And I suppose the greatest danger in that we allow it to be the lens in which we see ourselves, but also we see social problems and policies. So I, I clearly think, I clearly feel that we need to, um, that's the greatest danger, because it serves a function, but now it has become almost like the default way in which uh, problems are defined. Yeah. Uh, and, and it becomes the lens in which we, we, we see each other. And I think while CIMO has been put there as an intervention, I think we need another intervention. Sort of to pull back the brakes and say, okay, CIMO is good, but maybe we need another <laughs> intervention to add on and to see how can we mitigate or ensure that while the CIMO categories uh, is useful for us, it doesn't impede us moving forward. 
No, it's uh, certainly all very <laughs> heartfelt. I, I, don't, uh, I don't know that we've come to any answers. Uh, we've come to any sort of ending point. Uh, but thank you all. I mean, I, 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 I've sort of refrained from, uh, you know, suggesting what I think. But I'm, I'm going to tell you now what I'm going to say. <laughs> no, you can't hold me back. You're, 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 you're. No, I, look, I, the way I see it, uh, it's not a, it, I, I don't think uh, it's a, I don't think it is, a, it is, the, op, uh, it is the optimal mm. social instrument, right? right? Uh, it is not the, and it's not a nice thing to talk about either. It's not a nice thing to have, it's not a nice thing to, to do, uh, it's not a nice thing to be. But uh, I always worry about the counterfactual. What, what, what would happen if we didn't have it? So is it, is it the least worst, is, is the way that I would, that I would, that I would look at it. Um, I, I, I quite agree. Look, on the social side, that, that was never its intention. It was not intended to be a social, uh, a way that we d develop personal relationships or interpersonal relationships. It was really about a, a functional policy approach. And uh, it is f actually only used in a fairly limited sense on policy. There's only a few interventions where we, we go out and we, we make policy interventions. But it, it seems like a lot because <laughs> they're, they're very front and center, but, but really it's, it's quite limited. Um, and for most things, actually, we try very hard to look for other markers and look around demographics, mm -hmm. around age. Uh, you know, now we talk about the PMEDs, we talk about the pioneer generation, we talk about young families, and none of those uh, policy interventions or discussions are around a racial lens, but mm -hmm. they're not quite as heartfelt as the ones that are around a racial lens, so we always remember about that. The functional things that uh, it allows us to do, I mean, we, so we've got the ethnic integration policy around housing we've talked about. Um, you know, that idea that we try to keep our schools uh, as fairly, uh, our schools and our towns as representative of Singapore as a whole. Um, you know, the GRC system that, you know, we, we actually assure minorities that there is adequate parliamentary representation. Uh, mother tongue policy, immigration policy. It's, just, it's a handful of things where these are actually uh, enabled because of CMIO. But, you know, the, the issue is whether there's creep, right? Whether it gets mm -hmm. layered onto a whole bunch of other stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, my fear is that in the absence of that categorization, a lot of these fundamental pillars of what, what drives the, the, the function of our society would weaken. And you, you may have a lot more confidence. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> but, but I'll tell you, part of, part of my fear is actually my experience in, with lots of other countries that either do this in a different way or don't do this at all. And the reality is they don't get a handle on all these problems. And, and not only do they not get a handle on all these problems, they generate another problem, which is that in the absence of categorization, they can never then go in and measure. They can't go into a, a, to a, to a, a university system and say, well, you know, is there a racial bias in your admissions policy? Or, you know, and, or is there uh, a, a social bias in terms of how you hand out welfare and so on and so forth, right? So a lot of the is about making sure we audit and measure that we are, we're being fair. It, it, it's bizarre, right? Like mm -hmm. to, you divide in order to then measure fairness. But the reality is that in other countries where they don't do this, they can't be so sure. And there are some, I don't want to go name names, or, you know, one capital city around the world, you know, they, they know that, that there, are, there are problems and it's in this racial ghetto, but they can't call it a racial ghetto because they haven't officially classified everybody because everybody's the same, you know, uh, nationality regardless of the color of the skin. So they can't go in and intervene on the problem. So if I, could, if I would wrap it all up, I would say, look, you know, it was never intended to be about uh, uh, an interpersonal kind of social relationship. It was always intended around a functional policy. But the, its overall effect actually is to reduce people's anxiety that things are going to change over time. Mm -hmm. You know, there's going to be a sudden surge in one way or the other. There's going to be a, a, a whole bunch of instability. Um, I, I don't think I particularly like it. Uh, I, I actually, I, I resonate with quite a lot of what you said, Brendan. But I, I think, for me, the absence is a lot more uh, pessimistic. Uh, I, I would say that it's the least worst of the solutions. People outside of us say that we're doing really, really well uh, around racial integration and multi-ethnic mm. harmony and so on and so forth. But we think we're not doing well, <laughs> enough, right? Uh, and we look and see what are the models around the world. Uh, but so I don't know. If there's a right answer. I don't know. If there's a right answer. I would argue that we have moved quite significantly. You know, we talked a little bit about the subcategorizations, the hakkas, yeah. tochus, yeah. and, and if we look at, for example, what would happen in my parents' generation or my grandparents' generation, 
you would have racial bias within subgroups, mm. you know, and I'm not saying that's completely eliminated, but I think the, 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 the issue today is that, you know, if a Malayali marries a Tamil, it's really not as ma anywhere near as big a deal as it was 20, 30 years ago. Uh, and now we're already seeing across, uh, ac across the categorizations. So I, I think we are making progress. I think it's happening across generations rather than within a generation. It's slower than a lot of people would like. Now, the biggest question is going to be, is it happening in spite of CMIO, or is it happening because of CMIO? And I suspect if I ask that question now, I would have five different responses. <laughs> so I think we're going to call it a day there. But we know what part two is going to be about. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you all very much. Thank you.